This video shows how to use the FPGA command line prototyping feature from HDL Coder to connect FPGA hardware to MATLAB and prototype your design on hardware using simple MATLAB commands. It also shows how to put these commands into a simple app to interact with your hardware. You can use these concepts with your own FPGA hardware designs to do runtime testing, debugging, and visualization with MATLAB, like shown in this beam forming app on a Xilinx Zinc RFSOC platform. To begin, you must install a hardware support package for your platform. Once the support package is installed, a guided hardware setup walks you through configuring the board with the MathWorks firmware image. This allows the host computer to communicate to the FPGA through the processing system. Let's take a simple model that scales an input data stream by an adjustable amplitude and produces an output data stream. We will deploy this model to a Xilinx ZCU-102 board using HDL Coder's IP cord generation workflow. Launch HDL Workflow Advisor from the HDL Coder Toolstrip app. This will walk you through the process of generating an IP core from your Simulink model. Select task 4.2, Generate Software Interface in HDL Workflow Advisor. This task gives you an option to generate a MATLAB software interface script. Run this task and observe two MATLAB files are generated in the current folder. These auto-generated files will be the starting point for prototyping your design on hardware. Connect your hardware board to your host computer using an Ethernet cable and power on the board. Program the board by running through the final task in HDL Workflow Advisor. Once the board is programmed, return to MATLAB and open the generated script file. This file shows you how to establish a connection between MATLAB and your FPGA hardware. It also contains example commands that demonstrate how to read and write data with the design running on hardware. The first command creates an FPGA hardware object, which represents the connection between MATLAB and your FPGA hardware. Run this command to create the object. The second command executes a function to configure the FPGA hardware object with the proper ports and interfaces. This function was generated based on your Simulink design. Opening this function reveals the commands that correspond to the settings in the target interface table. You can reuse this function without modification. Execute the function to finish the configuration. The generated script shows example commands for reading and writing data to the FPGA. Edit these commands to add meaningful data for your algorithm. For this design, we will specify a positive amplitude and use a sine wave for the input data frame. We plot both the input and output data on a set of axes. Running these commands exchanges data with the FPGA hardware. It writes the amplitude to an axis register, then it writes an input frame of data and reads an output frame of data using the axi for stream interface. The axes plot the result from the FPGA hardware, showing the output as a scaled version of the input. To add more interactivity to the script, replace the fixed amplitude value with the slider bar. Configure the slider bar settings to re-execute the code whenever the value is changed. Now when we change the slider bar, new data is exchanged with the hardware, and the latest data is shown in the plot. We can recreate the same behavior in a standalone app using App Designer. You can launch App Designer from the MATLAB toolstrip to start designing an app. Begin by adding components to the app from the component library. We start by adding a title. To recreate the behavior from the script, we also add a slider and a set of axes. Use the inspector side panel to update the properties for each component. To add behavior to the app, click on Code View. Begin by adding initialization behavior to the app by adding a startup callback function. In the startup function, we initialize the FPGA hardware object by copying the corresponding commands from the script. Next, we add plotting behavior using a new function called updateplot. This function replicates the behavior in the script to change the amplitude value and plot data with a new setting. Copy the corresponding commands from the script into this function. Finally, we add calls to the update plot function from our callbacks so that it executes when the app first starts up and whenever the slider value is changed. With the app behavior added, we can run the app and use it to interact with the hardware. Just like in the live script, as we update the slider value, we also see the plot update with new data. 
This video showed how you can easily connect MATLAB to FPGA hardware to tune registers, send large frames of data, and capture data for plotting and analysis. To learn more about prototyping on FPGA hardware for MATLAB, check out the link below the video to see how this beamforming app was built for a Xilinx Zinc RFSOC platform. Thanks for watching.